Hi, this is Tim Campsell at Action Coach of Indiana with our Business Spotlight series. And the purpose is to interview local business owners and promote them on our social channels and email database. And this is a free service we're providing because when every small business is strong, then the economy is strong. And today I have the pleasure of chatting with Cameron. Welcome, Cameron. It's great to have you on the show today. And thank you for having me. Fantastic. So let's start. Before we get into your business, um, I'd love you to introduce yourself to the audience and, and tell us a little bit about uh, you personally. Okay. Uh, I'm the CEO, president of Five After Five Studios, uh, also Steel Bridge Entertainment and Spook House Entertainment. So I have three companies. Uh, I did four years in the Navy. So we are a veteran owned company. And uh, we, you know, we're based here in Indiana and proud to be homegrown here in Indiana, is what we say. So um, that's, um, I'm married. I have four kids. So I keep busy. Fantastic. How old are your kids? Uh, they are 16, uh, 13, uh, 8, and 11. Awesome. <laughs> you know, made me think. <laughs> and is uh, Indiana home for you yeah. originally? Yeah, I grew up in Indiana. I grew up in Greenfield and moved to Newcastle. And then after I did my four years in Navy, moved back to Newcastle and surrounding area here in Newcastle. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. So let's talk about a little bit about your business. If I was to say, what's your 60 second commercial? Uh, how would you describe your business to folks? Um, well, Five After Five Studios is a uh, full feature short film company. Uh, we, we put out different uh, genres of film, but we also hit the business side of things. Uh, uh, we do video advertising, commercials. Um, we'll do uh, music videos for bands i mean anything that somebody needs uh, our, our main point is to reach our customer for their pain points and or, or promote their uh, service or their product to a new customer brand so that's and what that's, we do and i think earlier you said you've got a few businesses so you're a busy person do you want to tell us about those as well well yeah um so basically uh, during covid uh you know the state shut down uh, we were exempt so basically, uh, I didn't want to put our people in, in danger. So we didn't film anything at that time. And what we decided to do was I ran Five After Five Productions. And we closed Five After Five Productions, opened Five After Five Studios and rebranded. And that way we could open up the other two studios so we could do more. And we had more ability to do different teams and stuff in the future. So we kind of set ourselves up better for the future is what we did so awesome and cameron how long have you been in business uh well between factor five productions and what we're doing now six years okay so, awesome yeah. so um let's talk a little bit more specifically about you know your your customer who you serve we call that a target audience so who how would you describe your target audience uh right now uh i believe it's the same thing uh, customers or uh our, our businesses that are looking to uh, reach a new customer a uh, 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 going back to a customer that they might have lost, uh, somebody that need, has a problem. Um, uh, I, I speak a lot about right now, a big thing that we're having in uh, that's going on is uh, business is not having enough employees. Mm. And uh, you go down here in Newcastle, if you go down the main strip, everybody has signs up. Yeah. And that's a pain point that we can actually help with businesses. We can actually do video for them to showcase why those businesses can actually uh, be good for their employees to come in, uh, what they offer them, their perks, uh, what kind, why they do what they do, their why is very important. So we can do something different for these different employers that are really hurting right now to reach your employees. So fantastic. Um, so yeah. you, you alluded to uh, COVID earlier. So what was the greatest impact that COVID had on your business? I didn't really think we, we didn't really have a problem during COVID because uh, I took it and made it into a positive. There were so many negative things going on, uh, but at the same time, I mean, we didn't get content out. So I think that was probably our biggest uh, uh, point that, that hurt us. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, uh, it gave me an opportunity to practice with new special effects software that we had. Uh, my kids love making movies, so we made some movies out there with special effects and uh, gave me a chance to practice with some new equipment, some new ideas. And that uh, helped us move forward. So luckily, we didn't have a big negative impact. So fantastic. Well, congratulations. The <laughs> other thing, and again, you alluded to this earlier, is we've all had to, to pivot during COVID to figure out, you know, how to how to not only survive, but come out of it stronger. So tell us a little bit more about that, that, that pivot that you made and, and how that made a difference for your business. 
Well, I mean, uh, we wanted to, well, Fire After Fire Studios is now like an umbrella corporation. So we have different companies, not even our own, but we can bring other companies on under us so we could work more as together under the indie film, whether it's making full features or even doing uh, video advertising, whatever it may need to be. Uh, so we, we, we took that aspect uh, to build bigger. And then uh, really at the same time, I let my day job to do this full time. And I also entered full sale as a film student. So I, I attacked this in so many different ways uh, to, I mean, I kind of, I say I did it backwards. You know, I, I didn't go to film school and didn't do film. I did uh, film and then decided I wanted to learn it, absolutely everything I could. And so I went to film school and now um, I'm in my first year of doing that and uh, learning new things, but also some of the stuff I've already done. So, I mean, I attacked it in multiple directions so <laughs> so let me play back what i what i heard so yeah. um over the last couple of years you went from one business to four you mm -hmm. went back to school you quit your job what, what, that, that, you got a lot going on my friend oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah it's a, it's a it's a whole new world um it was scary you know i mean i think it's always scary to leave your day job and go into what you're trying to do no matter how comfortable or how well you think you're doing it but, you know, there are different things that have happened in my life that have just went and said, hey, you know, you made the right decision. And uh, I, I've been very blessed with the things that, that have happened lately. So that's awesome. Well, congratulations, Cameron. Right. So here's an interesting question. It's been said that smart people learn from their mistakes and mm -hmm. wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what's a mistake that you made along the way that you'd be willing to share to help other entrepreneurs learn from your experience? Uh trying to take on too much for myself. I, I mean, I think that's my biggest mistake. Uh, when I started out, we were only doing, you know, one film, you know, now we're doing multiple different projects and we're, we're in different stages. Mm -hmm. And for me to do everything on that end, I can't do that anymore. But, uh, but I got good people that have come on board that have helped propel our company forward. And now we're doing it together. And uh, I think just uh, relying on other people is very important instead of just doing it all. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. That is a common challenge that I hear with uh, with business owners in general is, you know, when's the right time to bring on employees? And then what if they can't do the job as good as me? And um, right. But to your point, it, it ends up being a benefit once yeah. you get through that learning curve. Right. Right. Very, very much so. And I mean, I've been lucky. We're, we're built on volunteers. So, I mean, when we, when we started, it was everybody that had the same dream of doing film and video. And a lot of those people kept on the way. And now that we're actually in a place where we're starting to make money, now I can take care of those people that have come on board. So it's all about doing it together and growing together. Fantastic. Awesome. So what do you feel is going to be the biggest challenge over the next 12 months, Cameron? Content. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, probably our biggest thing. Um, well, content slash uh, finding businesses out there that, that uh, I mean, I'm trying to go out there and show people what we can do for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know COVID's hit a lot of people hard on some of their pocketbooks and stuff like that and uh, their budgets. Yeah. But uh, we believe that we can actually reach people in a, in a way that could be very beneficial to them. And uh, I, I like to prove that to people, you know, and stuff as we're moving forward. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm hoping a lot of people, you know, can take that benefit and help uh, expand their business. Uh, I always say, uh, uh, help tomorrow today, you know, is what we're trying to do. So. Yeah. I love it. So yeah. second, last question here, Cameron, we've, we'll have your contact informations, uh, included along with this video so that folks can reach out to you, but is there anything else that you wanted to make sure that we, uh, covered today? Um, no, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I just really, I think the most important thing about this all is just, uh, getting out there to people you know I, I want people to know what we do I want to work with others I believe in a local business you know and, and supporting them uh, it's been really hard for COVID for local businesses being closed down uh, yeah. but I mean not just local any kind of business we're out there just to try to help them move forward and we do this together fantastic so last question is um, what has been the most inspiring thing that you have seen over the last, the craziness of the, you know, the last 18 months? What's been most inspiring to you? 
Well, I mean, that's always a funny question, you know, a good question because there's always so many things that are inspiring. And, and I talk about this a lot because it could be anything from, you know, a film and how well it's done that it just inspires me to try to get to that level mm -hmm. or just watching somebody in class or out there uh, and indie film, you know, just working hard and making great things with very little and that's inspiring to me um just people sometimes are inspiring so i find inspiration in almost anything i can do because it's what drives me forward so <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> i love it so um that does conclude our interview for those listening if you've heard something that's uh, piqued your interest please reach out to cameron uh, like i said i'll include his contact information here along with this video take advantage of the opportunity to chat with him or his team to learn more about how they may be able to help your business, whether that's finding employees or just getting the word out about what it is that your business offers and how you're unique and different in the marketplace. And uh, also as a thank you for appearing on the show today, Cameron, we provide everyone with a complimentary coaching session. So we'll talk about that offline here in, in a couple minutes. It's uh, been a pleasure learning about you and your business, Cameron, and I wish you tremendous success. Oh, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Have a fantastic day. You too.